home. So when you're ready, sit in cross like the position. I'm going to mute everyone, then make me the biggest person on your screen. If this is your first time using Zoom, you can pin my video, go to my face on the top corner, and then click pin video, so I will always be the biggest. So sit in cross like the position. When you are ready, closing the eyes. Grab the butt cheek away. Even sitting in cross like that is a really good hip opening. Rolling the shoulders back. Feeling the sitting bone onto the mat. Feeling the shin. Maybe the ankle grounding down. Your whole lower part of your body supported. Your spine tall and long. Enjoy the stillness. Resist the urge to move. We may have just wake up for the Sunday. Or we may have been running around doing errands all morning. It's really good for the body to settle down. We're going to have three deep inhale and exhale to help us further settling in. Deep inhale, expand the belly, deeply breathe in. And exhale, breathing out. Second deep inhale into the belly, feeling your body with new energy. And exhale, contract the belly completely, breathe out. Last deep inhale. And exhale, sit in stillness. Observe how your body feel. Today's theme of the class is new energy. It's new energy because it's the summer solstice weekend. The day or the weekend in the year with the longest of sunlight, with the longest energy from the sun. Today, it's also International Yoga Day where every yogi in the world will try to practice to celebrate this special day to harness the energy. So the mantra for today, it's new energy. Think about something that requires energy, something new, or even something old that you want to inject new energy. Something that you know will really serve you, but you may not have the energy to do it yet. Or just simply something completely new that once you do it, it will give you energy and it will give you happiness. Think about that one thing. And in our practice, we're going to harness energy of the universe and put it in. Or it could even be someone that requires your energy to spend time with them. Could be a thing, could be a person, could be just a mantra in life that you want to work on. We are going to think about this thing that requires our new energy and sing three om. First deep inhale for the first om. Second inhale for second on. Last inhale for third ohm. Oh. Feeling 
the remaining vibration of the OM, think about that one thing that you have picked to dedicate your energy to. Gently open up your eyes. We're going to start sitting with some neck rotation. So, we are going to sit, changing the cross like that off the um, legs, grabbing the butt out again. Sitting tall and straight, starting with neck rotation. Inhale, chin towards chest. Exhale, right ear towards right shoulder. Try to slow down your movement. So you're slowing down your breath. Inhale, looking up. When you slow down your breath, you are slowing down your mind. Exhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Now start drawing circles deeply. Inhale, looking down. Get the chin towards the chest. Exhale, right ear towards right shoulder. Feel into all micro muscles when you slow down the movement. Inhale, look back, gently look up, 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 up. Then exhale to the left. Closing the eyes in your own pace. Draw circles, slow down the movement. So you're stretching every single micro muscles in your neck and maybe even your shoulders draw really big circles. Deepen your inhale and deepen your exhale. If you have been working in the office all week, this may feel really intense. Or maybe you have spent so much time and energy on your phone. So you really feel into the stretch. Think about your energy for this class. What in your life actually deserves less of your energy? So you can redirect to other things that really deserve it. Last circle in this direction. Deep inhale and exhale. Going on to the other side, start with static points. Inhale, chin towards chest with the eyes closed. Exhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, right ear towards right shoulder. Start drawing circles really slowly, deep. Inhale, feeling not just on your neck. Really push your neck down as much as possible. So you're feeling all micro muscle from the neck to the upper shoulders. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale, feeling the opening of the neck. Maybe even on the shoulders. Tiny bit on the upper back. Maybe draw circles in a bigger way. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale, last three circles. Deep long inhale. And deep long exhale. Last one, deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Great job. Coming back towards the center, warming up our spine. We're going to have hands onto the knees. You don't have to turn. Inhale, arch yourself. Exhale, curl from the upper back, mid back, lower back. Let's do it together. Inhale, push your hands forward, arch yourself. Looking up. Exhale, curl from the upper back, mid back, and lower back. Now, can you draw an even bigger circle when you inhale? Can you put the chest close to the mat? Inhale, chest down to the mat. And slowly using the head to guide the chest up, 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 up. A really good arch. And exhale, curl and upper back, knee back, contract the belly in. And slowly lower the body down. Inhale. 
Head or chest lifts and then slowly curling up. Exhale, curl from the upper back, mid back, and lower back. Closing the rise. Your goal is to bring movement to the spine. Whatever that you do, it's correct. Whatever that you do, as long as your beautiful body is feeling amazing, just start drawing circles with the neck, with the chest. Contract the belly when you exhale. Three more rounds, deep in your inhale. Closing the eyes and deep in your exhale. Sometimes when we are beginning in yoga class, we spend so much of our energy caring whether we're doing the right pose. That's not it. Can you, I don't care if you look like me in class or not. I want you to redirect your energy to what makes your body feel good. We all sit differently in the week. Our bodies are all different. Divert the energy to which movement makes your body feel good. One last drawing, inhale, and exhale, coming back to neutral, torso stretch, inhale, hands up towards the sky, feeling the lengthening of the torso to the armpit, to the upper arm, straight fingers, exhale, left hand onto the mat, inhale, straighten up the right arm, reach, 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 reach. up, 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 exhale, bend towards the left. Rotate the chest out, feeling the deeper stretch from the right sitting bone. Push your right sitting bone onto the mat. Lengthen the right torso, opening up the chest. Right arm straight. One more in. And our inhale, both hands up, coming back to center. Exhale, right hands onto the mat. Inhale, lengthen up the left arm. Exhale, bend towards the right, pushing the left sitting bone onto the mat. Feeling there's a strong energy from the left sitting bone to the left torso, to the left arm, to the hands up. Coming back towards the center. Now, we're going to lie down, but I want you to look into the demonstration before you lie down. We're going to do an active hip opening stretch today. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to lie down, hands onto the side. I'm going to position number one, bend knees towards the chest. Position number two, open up the knees towards the side. I'm going to get it as 90 degree as possible. Position number three, straighten up the legs. And give it a little kick and down. And position number four, it's like a chopstick person. So when you're ready, lie down onto your mat. We are going to use movement to opening up our hips before we come to stillness. When you are ready, lie down. Have hands overhead. It's really nice to open up our armpit when we have um, be in our keyboard all day. When you are ready, inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, opening up the knees towards the side to position two. Yes. Inhale, stretching up the legs to the side. Give it a little kick. And exhale, coming down. The little kick is going to increase the stretch in a small way. And slowly, we're going to build up into a bigger kick. Inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, knee open to the side. Great job. Inhale, straighten up the legs on the floor. Give it a little kick, up, and exhale, coming back to chopsticks. Inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, opening up the knees to the side. Inhale, feet out, little kick, and exhale, coming down. You should feel a really good opening on the left uh, hips. Inhale, knees towards the chest. Exhale, opening up the knees towards the side. Inhale, lengthen the left leg onto the floor. Give it a little kick and back down to chopsticks. Two more rounds. Inhale, knee towards the chest. Exhale, opening up the knees towards the floor. 
Inhale, straighten up the legs. Really straight, give it a little kick. Then exhale back to chopstick. Last one. Try pointing your feet when you do this. Inhale, knee towards chest. Exhale, opening up the knees towards the side. Inhale, lengthen up the leg onto the floor. Exhale, little kick. And back down. Really good job. Now hug your left knee towards the chest just for a moment of rebound. This active stretch should really warm up your hips, which gives it more flexibility because hip is going to help us to release any tension. And later when we hold on to a hip opening pose, it's going to help you to get deeper. Straighten the legs into chopstick. We're going to go to the other side. Hands overhead if you can. Inhale, right knee towards chest. Exhale, opening up the right knee towards the side. Inhale, right knee straight. Exhale, give it a little kick. And coming back to chopsticks. Really good. Closing your eyes. Inhale, right knee towards chest. Exhale, opening up the right knee towards the side. Inhale, straighten up the legs. Give it a little kick up. Then slowly coming back to chopsticks. Inhale, right knee towards chest. Opening up the knees towards the side, exhale. Inhale, straighten up the right leg. Give it a little kick. And exhale down. Two more rounds. Inhale, right knee towards chest. Exhale, open up the knees. Inhale, straighten up the legs. Give it a little kick. And exhale, coming back down. Last inhale, right knee towards the chest. Exhale, opening up the knees. Inhale, straighten up the legs. Give it a little kick. And exhale, coming down to chopsticks. Now hold the right knee towards the chest. Feeling the rebound, feeling the hit onto the right uh, hips. It's also a type of energy, right? Sometimes when your body is feeling tight, you are like, oh, I don't want to move. But it's really good to give it an active stretch so you can actively release the tightness. Great job. Bend both knees onto your chest. Comes a happy baby. Grab the outside or inside of the feet. Just roll left and right. Pull the knees as close to the chest as possible as close to the mat as possible, flex the feet. So you're feeling a really good hip opening. Especially if you have been sitting in the office all day, this should feel really good. Or maybe because you have now not, not in lockdown and going out a lot and you walk a lot on Saturday, this is also a really good stretch. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Find a way to roll to child pose. When we are in child pose, if you have been to last week's class, you know what to do. Opening up the knees as wide as the mat. This is where the um, towel comes in, pack your knees, because we're going to be in child pose for like a little while for this class. So opening up the knees, patting the knees, sitting onto the butt. When you are ready, if you haven't been to class last week, we have learned a way to get our child pose deeper, which is you look at the screen. I'm going to hold the shin of, the, of my shin, the fattiest bit, and I'm going to manually roll this fatty bit out. Can you see how much I'm rolling it out? So I'm rolling it out one side, we'll be rolling it out on the other side, and then sitting on it like a Japanese person. This is going to, because you're moving the muscle out, this is going to give your hip a much better stretch. When you're ready, hands just in front. I want you to make sure that your hips doesn't leave the toes as much as you can. Then slide your hand front. Rest here for child pose. Deeply inhale. Lengthen the lower back. And exhale, hips towards the floor. This may feel really intense if it's your first time doing it. So try to deeply inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, contract the belly, feeling the hips. 
in an inactive opening. When we open up a certain part of our body, we are giving it space, giving it space to be filled with something new. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale, release your hips even more. Last deeply inhale. And deeply exhale, slowly rolling back up. We are going to do some shoulder stretches to open up our shoulders. You're going to come to tabletop position with the knees pat. So looking at the demonstration first, I'm going to thread my hands in between my, basically following up my armpit, I'm going to thread my hands through. I'm going to then put my shoulders now in the middle point of where my hand used to be. So I'm going to inhale, arch this up, exhale, thread the right hand under lift the left armpit, coming into a T-shape. Then position one is you either straighten up the rounds or if you want a deeper opening, inhale, hands up and interlace the hands to the back, whatever that makes you feel good. So come into it together into a tabletop, everyone. Your knees will be hip with the center part. One inhale here. When you exhale, pick up your right arm, thread it underneath your left armpit. Putting the right shoulders on the mat, straight hands onto the right hand, straighten up the left arm. Your goal is to get the left armpit as close to the mat as possible. When you try to roll the left armpit as close to the mat as possible, you feel an even deeper pressure onto the right shoulders. This is really good because this is stopping the blood throat flow of the right shoulder for a little while. Once we release, fresh blood will go into it. So can you hold here deep in your inhale? Press the left chest to the mat as possible. If you want a deeper stretch, inhale, left hand up to the sky, and exhale, hands towards the back and into a bind. In the whole time, try to push the right chest as close to the mat as possible. One more inhale. And exhale, left hands walking back towards your face. Push yourself up into tabletop position. Great job. Now roll your wrist a several times so you're rolling the chest and rolling the shoulders. Going on to the other side. Inhale, look front. Exhale, lift the left arm, thread the left arm underneath the right armpit. Put the left shoulders onto the mat. Now walk the right hand front as much as you can. Press the left, right chest onto the mat, really putting pressure onto the left shoulders. Left fingers are all straight. Deeply inhale, press the right side of the chest towards the mat even more. And exhale, deeply inhale. Any soreness of the shoulder should now be pressed. So when you release, fresh blood will go to it and you will feel that area is as new as it can. Lift the left hand onto the sky if you want to. Then bind, bend the left hands onto the back. Grab onto the outer left edge of your leggings or on your left thighs. Still making sure your right chest is towards the mat. One more deep inhale. And exhale, right hand back onto the mat, close to your face, push yourself up to tabletop position. Wiggle the shoulders any way that you can. Deeply inhale. This should feel really good. And exhale, maybe sit back to child pose, lengthen the hands in front, but really strong. 
Pushing the shoulders down, active shoulder stretch. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Coming back up. Great job, girls. We're going to go to lizard pose. If you have the box near you, this is the time to move the box close to your hands. But look into the demonstration first. So this is lizard. Number one, I'm going to move my um, knee pads onto just one of the knees, onto my right knee. Coming into tabletop, I'm going to step my feet forward. We're going to hold onto lizard. In order to get a deeper lizard, this is where your box will play a role. I'm going to try to lift my feet onto the box and tippy toe fingers onto the mat. Move this knee back. That's why I need this uh, knee pattern to be straight so I can move back. So you can see that my back thighs is 45 degrees as much as I can. You should feel really strong opening onto the back of the left thighs and front onto the right. Then look forward and stay in this position for five breaths. So when you're ready, let's get settled. Let's get set up. Put the right shoulder pads onto the right knee in the long form so you can move your knees back. Uh, the box onto the outer left hands, outside of the wrist. When you're ready, or it doesn't have to be box, it could be cushions, it could be anything that you can step on. Inhale, lift the left leg close to your Hands step onto the box. You may need to move your feet mechanically to step on there. And move the right knee back to 45 degrees as much as you can. Really good form, Joe. Really good form, Jane. Deeply inhale. Really, Millie, can you look up a bit? Maybe come to the tippy hands, yes. Making sure your lower back is straight. Can, is there anyone that doesn't feel the left thighs opening. It should be a really strong opening. If you want to feel a deeper stretch on the right front thighs, move the right knee back even more. But only do it if it serves you. Deeply inhale, look front. And exhale, send the relaxation to the right hip, sorry, to the left hip. And to the left hamstring and left thighs. Deeply inhale. Send the relaxation to the front of the right thigh. Deeply inhale. This is a really active stretch. And exhale. Two more in. And out, really feel the left hip opening. One more in before we go to a variation. And out, without moving any parts of your body, lift the right hand up. Put the, sorry, lift the left hand up. Sorry, 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 your yoga teacher. Put the left hand onto the left knee. Push the left knee out. So now you only have the outer edge of the left feet onto the book or onto the mat. Right. Turn the chest towards the left. Lengthen the lower back. In this way, you will feel a really new muscle on the left hand side stretching. Left inner groin. And maybe the right outer groin will also be stretching. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Can you stay there for one more breath? If you can stay there, if not, slowly come back. Deeply inhale. And exhale. Slowly come back to child pose. Hands onto the mat. Lift your left wiggle, your left feet out of the support. Left feet back. Come to child pose for one recovering breath. Feeling how different is the left hip. Versus the right hip. This is a deeper pose versus what we usually do. Especially with the support, you really get access to area that you don't normally get into. 
You may also feel this deeper because we did a very active stretch. You already build up heat on your hips. So you can go deeper today. Slowly rolling up, setting up onto the other side. Put the uh, knee pad onto the left. The box or the block onto the outer edge of the right hand. When you're ready, coming to tabletop, hip width distance apart. Step the right feet in front. Manually move it onto the block or onto the book. Hands in front, look front. Try to wiggle your left knee back. So your left front thighs could have a really good stretch. Deeply inhale. Maybe fingertips onto the floor so you can lengthen the lower back. Deeply inhale. Yeah. Mainly, is it too much for your body or is there a way that you can move your left knee back a little bit? No, left, left knee onto the mat, move it back a little bit. Yeah, so you're getting a deeper stretch. So you adjust your body on your own. If you want a deeper stretch, you will want to move the left knee back. Closing your eyes. Deeply inhale. Sending the exhale onto the right hip. Deeply inhale. Sending the exhale onto the right hamstring. Deeply inhale. Sending the exhale onto the right front thighs. See if you can lean slightly forward to deepen the stretch even more. But back off if this is way too much for your body. Deeply inhale and exhale. Listen to your body. Energy management. Sometimes in life also means that you don't need to look like anyone. If any, everyone is in a bar at 9 p.m. on a Friday, you could be like, you know, I'm so proud to be a grandma. I just want to drink tea and stay home and lie in my bed to chill. That's energy management. Knowing how to manage your energy helps you to have a healthier mind and also helps you to avoid burnout. Really listen to your body not being pressured by your friends or society because you know what's the best for you. Remember the uh, mantra that we said at the beginning of the class? Something new, something that deserves your new energy. It's like that you're doing this new pose. It may not be pleasant, but if you put your energy and invest your time into it, your body is going to thank you. Coming into the second variation, lift the right hand up, put the right hand onto the right knee, push the knees away, only having the right outer edge of the feet onto the book or onto the block. Turn the chest facing right. Lean forward a little bit if you can. You should feel a different opening of the inner right groin. Back off and this is too much for you. Don't push too hard. You should also feel an opening on the front, outer left groin. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale, knowing when you're trying something new and it's difficult, your breath is going to guide you through. One last in. And oh, extremely good job, girls. Hands back onto the mat, wiggle your feet back. Come into child pose, release your knees. Maybe have your knees together, pat your knees. Hands onto the side of the mat. You could roll the calf out if you want a deeper uh, child pose. Hands back, just relax your hips. Relax your lower back. Feeling how much open your left hip and your right hip has been. In this first half of the class, you have done really active pose. Sometimes when you need new energy in your life, 
you just need to go for a run. Or if you have an idea, just do it. Half us, the kinetic energy of doing something new. Knowing that whatever that you set your mind on, you are definitely going to be able to achieve it. Knowing you have so much hidden energy within you. Knowing you are capable of anything that you dream of. Slowly rolling back up. We are coming to the relaxing bit onto the wall. Move the mat onto the wall. Is there anyone who doesn't have a wall? Can you wave your hands, wave your hands to the camera? What I would need is something like that, where it's like an empty wall or a glass, anything that would serve you. This may be new pose for some people. If you have to, if you have been to hip opening before, we're going to figure out four. So just a quick demonstration for people who are new. When we are on the wall, we have three, four poses to open up our hips. So the first one is called figure four. So I'm going to lean back. My, my butt is roughly um, um, halfway distance apart. I'm going to flex one feet onto the top and put it on. So this is figure four. It's very similar to when you do this, but we are using the wall to help us get deeper. So this is pose number one. Pose number two is we just lie our feet up for a rebound. Pose number three is we're going to wiggle ourselves until our butt touches the wall, flex it up. So pose number four with flex toes, pawn toes, flex toes. Pose number four is I'm going to open up to a V, pawn and flex, pawn and flex. And number five is coming back to, um, butterfly pose. So when you're ready, lean back onto the mat. Let's use the wall to help us get into deeper hip opening. If it's easier for your neck, you could also move your computer or your phone next to your um, uh, wall so you don't have to look back. When you are ready, put the feet onto the wall. I want you to have hands overhead so you're feeling the opening of the armpit. If you have been to class before and know how to roll up a towel for deeper uh, chest opening, do it. Inhale, lift the left feet, flex the left feet onto the ceiling. Exhale, put the left feet onto the right thighs. Try to open up left uh, hip as much as possible pushing the left hip closer to the wall. If you want to feel more, flex the left toes, flex, 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 flex. Wiggle your butt closer to the wall to feel more. So onto your upper arm and wiggle closer. If this is too much for your left hip, wiggle away. You will find the optimal distance. Closing the eyes, deeply inhale. And exhale, push us the left knee closer to the wall. And relax the left knee. The great thing about using the wall to support our right feet, it's you're completely relaxed in this pose. Having your back, Supporting by the mat. Having your right feet supported by the wall. So your body can go into deep relaxation. And deep relaxation helps to loosen up and get deeper into any hip opening. If the first part of the class is yang in the Chinese thinking, this is now the yin part. You have done the active bit at the beginning to warm up the muscle, to open up the hips. This is now the yin nourishing part to get the stretch even deeper. Yin and yang. Deeply inhale. 
and deeply exhale. With the next inhale, slowly straighten up the left feet onto the ceiling. Flex, 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 flex the toes. Then pull the left toes back onto the wall. Now flex the right toes, pushing the heels onto the ceiling. Straighten up the right leg. Then bend the right knee, putting the right feet onto the left thighs. Opening up the right hip. Pushing the right knees closer to the wall. See if you need to wiggle further closer to the wall to feel a deeper stretch. Or further away to loosen the stretch. Feeling your lower back deeply onto the mat. Hands overhead, open up your armpits just because you have been in the computer all day. So having armpit open is really nourishing. Flex the right toes. Deeply inhale into the belly. Exhale, release your lower back. Deeply inhale into the belly. Exhale, release the right thighs. Deeply inhale into the belly. Exhale, release your right hip, right knee. Using gravity for this inactive hip opening. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Going back to the metaphor of yin and yang, it's like your intention that you have set for this new project. Sometimes we need a lot of yang energy of go, 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 go. But our body and our tasks or the thing that you have picked, the person that you have picked, will benefit from the yin energy of maybe today, I'm going to take a step back just to refresh my brain, recollect the thoughts before trying or attempting the new things again. Energy management, the beautiful balance of yin and yang. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, flex the right feet onto the sky. Exhale, right feet onto the wall. Now knees together, slide the feet up to a 45 degree straight line. Just letting the hip rebound. Relax your thighs. Relax both of your hips. Observing how much your hips has opened. It may even go deeper today in this impulse because of all the effort of preparing the hips that you have done in the first part. One more deep inhale. And deep exhale. Now, having the arms by your boobs, upper arm onto the mat, push your butt up and wiggle, 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 wiggle until your butt touches the edge of the wall. Sink your hips down. So your upper body is completely onto the mat. Your lower body is completely onto the wall. Relax your legs there. Can you become a letter L? Interlace the fingers, hands overhead. Give yourself a really good stretch. At the same time, flex your toes, push your feet away. So really good stretch from both angles. One more in. And out, release the feet, release the um, hands. Just relaxing your body here. Feeling how just have the legs up onto the wall will help to open up 
and hamstring. This is also really good as a stretch for your lower back. Because once you have your strong hamstring, your lower back will be more relaxed. Even for the figure of four that we have did just now, it's really good when you have lower back pain. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. With the rise close, can you open up your feet to a V? Slide it along the wall. So opening up into a feet, great job everyone. Trisha, opening up to a feet. So flex the toes everyone. Pull on the toes. Flex the toes. Feeling when you flex the toes, you're pushing your knees towards the wall. When you pull on your toes, you're lengthening your hamstring. Three more times, flex your toes. Contract the thighs. Pull on your toes, relax the thighs and lengthen it. Flex the toes, contract the thighs, squeeze. And pawn the toes, relax the thighs. One last flex the toes. And pawn the toes. Now relax every bit of the lower body. Your knees doesn't have to be on the wall. Relax your thighs. Pick a position that you can hold for nearly two minutes. So your V could be small, could be big, anything that your body feels like. And you deepen your inhale. Exhale, release your inner grind. Inhale. And exhale, relax your outer hips. Inhale. And exhale, relax your knees. Inhale. And exhale, can you relax your lower back? Letting the lower back completely sinking into the mat. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, contract the belly. Let the lower back sink deeper into the mat. Relaxing your hips, relaxing your thighs. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. It's so interesting about energy management. Sometimes after you have warm up and do everything and really focus and putting effort onto the task, you just let me to sit still and see what gravity, what the universe will bring you. In Cantonese, there's a saying that if you want to be quick, you will never reach there. It's exactly the spirit of yin. The spirit of taking a step back, just letting it sit. Being patient. So time, the universe will get you there. Having a positive mindset. Knowing that rushing won't get you there, but patient with slowly opening up the body, with slowly opening up your mind, with slowly opening up yourself to new opportunity. The beauty of yin, the balance of yin and yang. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Gently open your eyes. Don't move the feet yet. Hands onto the feet. Using your hands, grab onto the thighs. Very slowly close it. 
Don't rush. So your muscle, every single muscle have time to rebound. Closing the V, maybe bending your knees. And have knees onto the chest, but do it really slowly and gently. So every part of your thighs and of your legs have time to rebound. Holding yourself like a little ball just for one breath. Giving your hips some time to rebound. Our last pose, our second last pose will be butterfly. Slide your uh, feet together. Slide the feet up the wall, just opening up the hips. Just let it relax. Relax your hips. If your feet want to slide down completely fine, relax your thighs. Relax your knees. Deepening your inhale, closing the eyes. And deepening the exhale. Just letting your body rebound. Notice how different it feels to do this pose on the wall versus on the mat. How relaxing it is to do it on the wall when your whole upper back, the whole upper body is supported by the mat and the feet is supported by the wall. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now ask your body this question. We have two forms of Savasana. One is the normal one. Second one is just to straighten up the legs and have the feet onto the wall. If you need a hamstring stretch and deeper hip release, maybe you want to stay onto the wall. If you want a more lower back release, wiggle yourself away from the wall. Pick. Do you want, do your lower back need more love or do your hips need more love? If your hips need more love, stay there with feet onto the wall 90 degree. If your lower back needs more love, wiggle yourself, lie completely flat onto the mat. When you lie completely feet onto the mat, if you pick your lower back, inhale, knees towards the chest. Exhale, hands open to a T-shirt. Bring both knees towards one side. A low back twist. Inhale, back up, knees together. Exhale, knees onto the other side. One deep inhale. And exhale. Pick either the fast line straight, the normal type. Or feet onto the wall, whatever that makes your body feel good. Deepen your inhale, relax your body. And deepen the exhale. Relax your face. Relax the eyebrows. Relax the jaw. Relax the shoulder. Relax the whole arm. Relax the upper back. Relax the meat back. Relax the lower back. Letting the back completely sink in, supported by the mat. Relax your hips. Relax your thighs, feeling the mat or the wall supporting you. Relax your knees. If you have feet up the wall, it's completely fine to have a micro band. Relax your calf. Relax your ankle. Relax your feet. Completely relax every part of the body, sinking into the stillness, harvesting the beauty of you, Savasana.
keeping the eyes closed, slowly coming back to the room. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Hands over head, give yourself a really good stretch. Bend the knees towards the chest. Hugging the knees towards the chest. Tell yourself that you love the new energy in your body. You love yourself. Make a promise to yourself that energy has yin and yang. So you're not just going to push yourself, but you're also going to take a step back when you need to. Hug yourself really tight, 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 tight. Kiss your right knee. Mm. Kiss your left knee. Mm. Slowly roll yourself to the right hand side of the mat. Gently closing the eyes and push yourself back up into a sitting position as the beginning of our class. Feeling the sitting bone rooted onto the floor. Spine straight. Coming into this yin energy one last time, resist the urge to move. Deeply inhale into the belly, feeling the peace and exhale any tightness in your body. Deeply inhale into the belly, exhale, release anything that doesn't serve you in your life. Deeply inhale, feeling your body with the yang new energy for your intention. And exhale, knowing sometimes you need patience and yin. Going back to the intention that you set at the beginning of the class, the new things that requires your energy. Believe that you are going to achieve it. You are going to have a great learning experience or just trying to put energy there, knowing that the energy that you put in will have a good result. We are going to sing one Om and three Shanti to end the class. Deeply inhale into the belly. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands together in prayer position in front of your heart. Move the prayer towards the third eye in between your eyebrows. May new energy inspire new creativity. Feel our mind with this new creativity. Move the prayer towards the lips. May this new energy give you energy to yourself. Say that you have done a great job when you have tried these new things. And move the hands towards your heart. May your heart be filled with this feeling of energy, the feeling of gratitude and happiness from it. Bowing forward, namaste.